Years ago, I was at a crossroads of what to do artistically. I really wanted my work to have greater meaning and, uh, and value for the world. And I started praying and meditating, um, hoping that God would present me or guide me with what I was supposed to be doing with my life. <laughs> Every day, I would set aside some time to, to meditate and just be still and listen. And frankly, I'd kind of been beaten down and defeated and failed a few times and uh, was finally open to be guided um, in my life and finally open to say, you know what, use me. Use me in whatever capacity you see fit. Uh, because I sure as heck don't have all the answers and I'm, I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> so one day, while I was in the shower, because you know some of the best ideas come while you're in the shower, these words and their definitions flooded into my my brain, my conscience, my consciousness, and I had to grab a towel and pa paper and pencil and and just start writing them down. And it was the first time in my life that I felt like words were coming through me, and I I just filled up a sheet of paper with all these definitions of, you know, it would start with a word like believe, embrace the possibility, um, transform, bring about positive change. Uh, just these really concise definitions. Um, I, I filled pages with them and each day, I would, I would set aside a little bit of time to, to just be open to this flow that was happening. And soon I had almost 200. <laughs> when I started this, this process, this prayer, I in no way was expecting words. I wasn't expecting writing. I'm a visual artist. So I wondered, you know, what, what am I supposed to do with these? Um, I thought, well, since I'm an artist and these words have been given to me, then maybe I'm supposed to illustrate them. So I set about trying to come up with a, a style that would match this universal message that these words had. And uh, it took me nine months to really formulate something that would feel universal, that wasn't so much about male, female, young, old, black, white, um, I just wanted to get this message out to everyone who wanted to listen. And um, so I started painting. And I, I have a bunch already. I have a long way to go. But I started turning them into greeting cards and artwork and, you know, just even magnets, uh, you know, things that people could easily use as affirmations in their lives uh, or as artwork they could put on the wall, things to inspire and motivate. And I was just so happy because I felt like um, I was doing something 
that could be of benefit to people. And just as I was starting to get this going, the recession hit. So now I've discovered making videos on YouTube. And I thought I can reach people that I hadn't reached prior to the recession. I can use Instagram. I can use all these social media uh, platforms to try to get the, the, these messages out again to people and, um, and hopefully continue to, to provide a little bit of inspiration and motivation for people. So every Monday, I'm going to be painting one of these and, um, and then I'll do a voiceover while I'm, while I'm painting. I can't do both at the same time. I am not that coordinated. But I'll be painting it and then, like here's my first one. I already did this one. See? So I, I was doing a video of me painting all of this and then doing a voiceover reciting famous quotations based on the word transform. Because so many people have, have said so many amazing motivational and inspirational things that I thought, let's pull a bunch of those together. I'll recite other people's ideas about transformation while I'm doing my own little painting and my own definition of it. So I've done that. I have one planned for every week of the year and hopefully I'll just continue working on it and go into next year. Um, so, so meet me every Monday and and we'll get inspired and, and motivated together. Um, thank you. I'm, I'm so grateful to be able to have this opportunity to share this work again because frankly, it has been the most spiritually inspired work that I've ever done. And from the moment that these words flooded into my being, I knew that they were meant to be shared, that they weren't just for me, that they were meant to be shared. So thank you and join me. <laughs>